10 Pro Tools shortcuts that you need. Make sure you turn on Edit Keyboard Focus, and it may also be helpful to use the multi-tool by clicking right above these three boxes here. Number one, saving. The most known, but the most underrated, Command S. Needs no introduction, just do it every five seconds or so. You'll never regret it. Number two, X to cut, C to copy, and V to paste. Simple, right? Number three, zoom controls. The letter R for zooming out and the letter T for zooming in. Pretty easy so far, right? Number four, command space to start recording. Now you will have to have an audio track record enabled for this to work. Otherwise you would get this message and you may have to disable the spotlight shortcut. But regardless, this beats clicking at the top of the transport every time. Number five is gonna be command K to turn on your pre-roll and your post-roll. The pre-roll is your set amount of time that you want the track to start at before it actually starts recording, you know, so you can catch it. This is great for when you want to punch in a part and you need a little bit the time to catch the vibe. Post roll, on the other hand, is the time that you wanted to keep playing after your recorded selection. Now, the good thing about this is if you have a selection and you press play, it would only record that selection. But if you have a post roll on, it's going to keep playing and it's going to also keep recording. Now, it might not show off rip, but once the transport is stopped, you can drag that clip out to the right just in case you recorded something that you want to hear. Number six, we have trimming. Use the letter A to trim off the left side of a clip or use the letter S to trim off the right side of a clip. We're going to piggyback off that with number seven. It's going to be Command T. If you notice you don't want the left side or the right side of a clip, you can select the piece of the clip that you want and hit Command T and it'll trim off both sides. Number eight is gonna be six and seven's friend. It's gonna be to separate the clip using the letter B. Number nine is gonna be one of my favorites. It's gonna be Option Shift N to send a clip to a new playlist. This is always helpful in the take selection process. You may not know if you wanna keep that take. You may think you can do it better. Why not try, right? Send that clip to a new playlist, try it again, and refer back to it if you want to. Number 10 is gonna help you quickly cycle through the takes that you had sent to a new playlist. Command, shift, up or down. This is very helpful if you wanna see that if a certain part of the line sounded good with the first take mixed in with the second take. So there you have it, 10 of my most used shortcuts in Pro Tools. If this video has brought you value, go ahead, hit that like button for me and drop a comment below telling me what shortcut you'll be using the most. If you wanna see a video about some Pro Tools settings you may not have known about, click right here. My name is Ray from Verify Sounds and make sure you subscribe. We'll get to some more videos soon. See you in the next one.